Good morning, everyone. Today we will cover our topic that is to study about the different parts of a flower, and we will cover one more experiment from our syllabus that is to study what is emasculation and what is begging. Okay, first of all, this is our flower. When a when in a plant a flower arises, it involves many hormones. Whether it is a flower, whether it is a, it will be a leaf. So first, A, B, C, three hormones are responsible to make a flower okay these are the different parts of the flower let's start from one this is known as pedicel this is known as pedicel from which part the flower is attached to the plant body okay can you see these colored petals why these are colored yes to attract the pollinator for the pollination process and these are known as the petals these are known as the petals and petals are also known as corolla. corolla petals are also known as corolla clear to everyone okay now can you see these one little one little green in color yes little green in color these are known as bracts these are known as bracts okay these are known as bracts and but here big green leaves are also there these are sepals these are sepals and these are also known as calyx clear to everyone when a flower when a flower consists of two reproductive gametes that is male and female then it is known as bisexual flower the male reproductive system in a flower is known as stamen stamen what is stamen just see this i am remo removing the male reproductive part a male reproductive part consists of the anther and filament one anther and filament is known as stamen and group of many stamen together known as androecium this is clear to everyone yes. okay when i am removing the stamen part from the flower by the help of the forceps this technique is known as emasculation this technique is known as emasculation so this is the emasculation can you see some yellow color points are there yes. so why these anthers are in yellow color can anyone give me the answer yes can tell me what is the reason behind these why these are yellow in color yes anther dissens and the male gamete that is the pollen grain come out and at that time the chloroplast convert into the chromoplast that's why these are yellow in color so these all are your male gametes okay you can see the diagram of the male gamete in the microscope also it is set okay next now the c can you see these five in number up one yes ma'am this is the part of the female reproductive part that is known as stigma this is known as stigma, stigma. okay stigma and the long tube this Stamina long tube style. from where the pollen grain will pass the pollen tube this is known as style this is known as style this pink in color this is not style inside this there is a narrow see this one white in color this is the style this is the style and from here the male gamete pass the pollen tube to reach to the female gamete to do the process of the fertilization in ovary in ovary the female gamete is present and after the fusion of the male and female gamete which process will take place fertilization to form the zygote and later embryo this complete part stigma style ovary one is known as pistil or carpel and group of pistil and carpel together known as gynoecium together known as gynoecium okay now see this swollen part this is ovary of the female reproductive part where where female gamete is present okay here inside this we can cut the ta section of this also to see the internal parts but just see here some tiny 
structures are also present inside this see these one white these are ovules these are ovules which form the seed which form the seed after fertilization the some events take place in the flower body that shedding of the petals shedding of the sepals and the swollen part will form the fruit the swollen part will form the fruit and inside these ovules they will make the seed this is clear to everyone yes sir. okay now depending upon the position of the ovary there are three part types of flower that is hypogamous perigamous and epigamous when the ovary is superior superior means other parts are attached below the ovary so this is hypogamous theek hai but when ovary inside and up, other parts are up this is perigynous and when it is they both have inferior ovary they both have inferior means enclosed you can take example of guava here in guava seeds are inside na yes. so this is epigynous this is clear to everyone yes sir now just see here that is a male gamete pollen grain a male gamete pollen grain contain of two layers that is the exine and intine now see one by one the structure of the pollen grain here 